Okay, who would like to go first in the room? Gordon, go ahead. Could you sum up the desire of the players to reach the Champions League group stage? Yeah, I think uh, it's the highest level you can play on, and uh, I think everybody's dream. I think for I speak now for myself, but I think for all the other players, when they start to play uh, football and uh, hear the Champions League anthem, it's like uh, yeah, one of the biggest things. And I think uh, we are now two games away from that uh, dream, I would say. And uh, I think everybody is uh, yeah prepared and want to give everything to yeah be in the group stage. Right. You scored in the last three games. Tell us about your confidence going into this game. Yeah, I, I think my confidence always high. It doesn't matter if I score or not. Um, I try to work hard for the team. Um, I'm really happy now with this uh, period of scoring. Um, this yeah, makes me hungry for more. And uh, yeah, I know I can uh, yeah, try to always score to, to bring me into situations and uh, to, yeah. But first of all, uh, the most important thing is uh, the the success of the team, and I try always to give everything for them. And then uh, after that, I'm always happy if I can, uh, yeah, um, add goals and assists for the team. Gabriel, you talk about your own confidence, but how confident are you as a, a group of players you can win these next two matches and progress the group stage? Yeah, we are really confident. I mean, first of all, we played the first game in home in front of our fans uh, on Ibrox at Ibrox and um, this gives us a big confidence, a big push, of course. And um, we are two games, as I said, two games away from the group stage. And we went a, a long way to come uh, now to these uh, two games. And I think uh, everybody must be aware of that, um, how close we are. And uh, I think us as a team, we will be well prepared. And the coaches uh, prepared us really well and to be confident in this game and uh, to get the best out of it. So many big teams have come to Ibrox and been beaten. Because you're quite new, can, can you put into words or explain the, the atmosphere at Ibrox, especially these, these big European ones? Because it's such a big advantage to win and it's so difficult for the other teams to, to handle. I mean, even for me, it's difficult to explain. Um, for me, I think the best thing is to say when you walk out at the pitch and always getting these goosebumps, you know. Uh, it's like a special push, special uh, feeling, and uh, in all the situations on the pitch, uh, they're helping us in uh, all the time. And I think uh, this yeah makes us stronger, some other teams weaker. And um, yeah, I think I can only describe it in this kind of words. Antonio, you were also part of the team last season, which were only in February. Did you watch any of that from afar? And just touching on the last point. You seem to the teams you just carried on where they left from last season. You know, what's the mentality like in this squad? Is it different to other squads that you've been in previously? Um, yeah, I watched the, the games and the way uh, they made uh, to come to the final. Um, even though I, I just arrived here, I wanted also to see the highlights, to see how I can uh, now adapt myself into this uh, team, into this game, and uh, yeah, try to focus on that. like. The private uh, analyst, I would say, and um, yeah, now um, we are a really good group. Of course, every start of the season is not easy, but I think we we start really well into the season. We are now um, we have the most yeah like two um, really big games in front of us. And as you said, like the last year, they went into the final. If you don't have a group like that. Uh, like a team spirit, then you cannot uh, reach all these targets. And um, I think, of course, we have uh, new players in now, but uh, all are good guys. You know, we adapt really fast, luckily. And um, I think this can be also uh, yeah, important thing to be, ex again, successful. And I think uh, the group and with all everybody around us, also with the staff, with the fans, um, can uh, yeah, we can make a successful season this year. Chris, you spoke and told you about hearing that Champions League music. What would it mean for you to hear that again, having got to that stage from all last season? Yeah, as I said, um, I set my targets really high, and um, I want yeah to always play on the highest level as I can, and um, this is what I want um, this year as well, and. It's an amazing feeling, to be honest. I was yeah lucky that I can uh, that I experienced it last year, 
and yeah i want it again and i want it with rangers and i want to be more successful and uh, yeah to just uh, reach more and more and um, i think everybody gets the, or has the same opinion it starts now in the training with, to have the different balls tomorrow the, we will hear i think the anthem again and um, yeah we just want uh, to reach this uh, this target Yes, of course. Um, this means you score against the best uh, opponents you can have. And um, but for me, it doesn't matter. Is it uh, yeah, St. Johnson or then uh, yeah, now tomorrow PSV? It's I want always uh, score. Uh, yes, I'm hungry. I want to work. You know, and uh, this is what uh, I did all my life. And um, this is also what I want to do tomorrow. I just want uh, yeah, to be successful. And um, yeah, of course, scoring goals. Yeah, me as a player, as a person, I always go maximum. It doesn't matter. Um, in is it training or games? Um, to have a player like Alfredo Morales, uh, Morelos, and um, yeah, all this team uh, with the quality, uh, what quality players. Um, makes us reaching in all the trainings and games uh, the maximum and of course to have him uh, with me i think um, it means a lot also for the team to that we can help uh, the team with our work with scoring goals and um, yeah we need players like this on every position uh, to be successful as a team we'll just move to zoom now um i've only one hand up two hands up Terry clark go ahead Hi Antonio, um, you've had a great start to your, your Rangers career, uh, although you came in for probably some harsh criticism after the first leg against Union. Do you pay much attention to what people are saying about you? Because it certainly looks like like you don't um, with, with the, the start that you've had at Rangers. Uh, to be honest, no, because um, in this day, I would say we were like, uh, we, we didn't play well as a team, but um, me as a person, I always look for the next day. I'm, you know, I'm, as you maybe can see, I'm a really positive guy and um, try to to make the best out of every day and about uh, yes, every training, every game. And um, yeah, I try just to work hard every day and to improve myself. Of course, every start is not um, easy, but um, yeah, I don't uh, follow now a lot the media. Um, it's always um, good to watch maybe the goals <laughs> I score or the wins um, we, we reach. But um, yeah, all in all, I just focus uh, on myself. Alistair. Antonio, uh, obviously we've spoken about your recent form with the three goals in three games. Um, have you set yourself a sort of personal target this season in terms of goals scored both domestically and in Europe? Um, to be honest, no. Um, this is a question uh, I get everywhere, <laughs> but um, um, as I said, I just want uh, to reach uh, the maximum out of everything, and um, I just want uh, to to give my best every day. That the the coach um, gives me the trust and the minutes, and uh, yeah, then I want to give him that uh, trust back, and um, of course with my work on the pitch and then with the goals. Final question, Stevie Clifford. Hi, Antonio. Just um, quickly, you, you spoke about adapting to life at Rangers. How do you feel that that is coming along? And have you been surprised by anything or excited by your time at Rangers so far? Yeah, I mean, um, the boys and the group in general made it really easy for me. And um, I, I felt directly really open heart, like welcomed. And uh, the guys were really... Uh, open to me and um, I mean surprised about all the facilities and uh, yes the whole atmosphere it's uh, yeah amazing as I said uh, it's I enjoyed every game uh, every day I, I enter yes the training ground I'm really happy to be here and um, yeah it's it's just a big thing uh, I mean for me to play for Rangers because because this means a lot for me and I know uh, not everybody has uh, the possibility to be here and uh, I want to reach yeah every day to give everything for the club and then uh, yeah I think uh, I can be happy cheers guys thank you